is up, Humanoid Nation? Today's video we're reacting to is like, what in the hell am I looking at here? I know this one. It's the ice cream one. It's the person just whipping ice cream all over their face. But what is this? What the fuck is this? So this is from a YouTube channel called Tuv. Tuv? Tuv. Creepy commercials. It actually aired on live TV. All right. Let's see what they got. Let's do this. Commercials and PSAs are meant to get a message or point across to the audience. For the most part, that's exactly what they're Oh, doing. God, this thing. Uh, still creepy as hell. And some companies take this Baby's ice cream. That's what it was called. Shock value. Sometimes the company doesn't even know they're making the viewer uncomfortable. But then again, that seems to be the method for every safety PSA. Growing up, perhaps we were scarred or left questioning what we had just watched. In today's video... We had Disney where they did not give a fuck back then. Great Mouse Detective, Lion King, Bambi. Damn, we had, we had it good back then. I'd like to take a look back at certain commercials and see exactly what made them so creepy. In other words, today we will be talking about creepy commercials that actually aired on live TV. Hello, what is up guys? <laughs> my hair is black now. It's my and my natural hair color is black, so we're back to black. I know that my hair was like green. Is it me or does he sound like Justin Long a bit? He does sound like Justin Long. Or is it just me? Flash purple. That was not on purpose. Also, I thought this was some dude in the background that looks like it's Danny DeVito. He has Danny DeVito back there. That's pretty cool. This this is what I was actually trying to go for. Also beautiful. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. My goal is 30,000 followers by the end of the year. And my I name is Tuve. posted a hyper pop song snippet, which it's over there on my highlights. So if you want to go hear me sing, uh, go over to my Instagram and check the highlight out. And oh, they gotta check them out. Check out my second channel where I'm uploading a video that inspired this video. That's right. I inspired myself. It's a video from 2017 that I actually deleted. Well, we all inspire ourselves commercials. sometimes. And it's if you want to go watch a 15 year old version of me talk about Almost the same thing, but less experienced with commentary. Make sure to go watch that after this video. So the way this video is going to work is I'm going to be explaining what happens in the commercial, and then I'm going to give you guys some context behind it. All right, without further ado, sit back, relax, grab grab a glass of water, and hydrate yourself, and let's get started with the video. Already, ha Curse already ahead of you. Kleenex commercial. 1986. 1986. It's a fine day, people. The infamous Kleenex commercial depicts a woman and a baby sitting on a bed of straw with a dark red background. The woman wears a long white. Where's Where's the baby? What? A woman and a baby? It's a woman and a baby sitting on a bed of. Straw. Oh, that's the baby. I thought that was a giant troll doll. Okay, all right. Straw with a dark red background. The woman wears a long white dress and looks perfectly normal. The baby, however, has been painted the same red as the background and wears a green wig with a horn sticking out of the top. The baby keeps their arms crossed and seems disinterested when the woman pulls a tissue from the box. She then lets it float away in the wind. A high voice sings along to an eerie tune in the background. This commercial was super difficult to find information on, but I did find some articles. But what I'm about to read, take it with a grain of salt. They claim that many Japanese viewers complained about the ad being too disturbing, which led to Kleenex taking it off the air. There's also rumors that anyone who watches that that's disturbing. A baby going like this, not saying a thing. That's kind of mild, isn't it, for Japan commercial? Because you know how Japan can be crazy with their commercials, but that's a little bit mild. This commercial is automatically cursed. So uh, yeah, I just cursed everyone that watched this video. So that was a I curse. Really hope you guys don't believe in video curses. Like, that's so stupid there was also another rumor that the entire cast shortly died after the well that's not of, fun uh, commercial which no the actress is still alive and well and is named kiko matsuzaka as for the rest of the crew well honestly they could probably be dead by now i mean the commercial is pretty 1986 old, yeah. because they were cursed the song played in the old commercial age. is it's a fine day by jane and is actually a really good song i love the singer's vocals and the music video slash song are about women becoming widows due to their husbands dying in the war i looked it up on spotify and found a bunch of club remixes yo i'm club. not gonna lie those are really good as well club remixes huh Smoke okay the bear 1973 only you next time you're in the forest only you can prevent forest fires i think they showed us in like the 90s as well some reruns or am i forgetting about the cartoon be extra careful okay yo what the hell Smokey the Bear is an advertising character created by the Ad Council and the U.S. Forest Service to raise awareness against human-caused wildfires. Starting in 1944, Smokey's campaign... Look, kids. 
Lunch has been the longest running public service campaign in American history. Over the years, the campaign has fed some questionable ads, especially this infamous one from 1973. Actress Joanna Cassidy looks at the camera seductively as the camera yeah, I was closer to her. I face. thought I was she seeing this shit. Like she is seductively looking at the camera. The forest. Suddenly. Her face turns into a mask, and it is revealed that Smokey was actually Cassidy all along, and asks- Bro, Tufts definitely sounds like Justin Long. All I hear is his voice. He definitely sounds like Justin Long. Thus, if we knew that it was him, would we have listened? Work Safety PSA, 2009. I'm working overtime because I want to take my family on a nice vacation. He dies, doesn't he? a man talking about his family and then explains that they will soon be getting a call which says that he was killed in a work accident. Oh, yeah. Something blows up and sends him flying off the roof. I'm blurring it just to be safe. Ah, uh, damn. see his body ragdolled through the blur. And I'm not gonna lie. I was laughing so hard when I saw this commercial. It's just like, why did the directors make his body hit the truck and then hit the ground? Hold on. Work safety PSA. I need to see this. Work safety... PSA. The PSA. 2009. Because I want to see what happens here. 32. I'm working overtime because I want to take my family on a nice vacation. Soon they get a call telling them I was killed in an accident. Is this a Canadian but commercial? Hey, I'm wearing a busted harness here. And the company should have checked those tanks. To <laughs> Let me watch that again. And the company should have checked those tanks. To Boink! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like something out of Titanic. Or from Meet Joe Black when Brad Pitt gets hit by a car. And the company should have checked those tanks. To Boink! <laughs> Ragdoll! Oh my god, I am a sick fuck. I, it, this is hilarious, though. I just thought it was extra. Not only that, the video is in 240p, and it just looks like five pixels going across your screen. So, uh, I'm not laughing at his death. Actually, I kind of am. It's great. No, we are laughing at his death, because it's just so insane. Is this Canadian PSA? Is it? Hold on. Instruction. Oh, yes, Canadian TV. Of course it's from Canada! Why wouldn't it be from Canada? Okay, let's continue. I'm saying. No, you guys have me so scared on getting canceled. Like, I'm always, like, double-checking what I say, but, like, this is a commercial. I can it's laugh. It's a commercial. Right? You laugh. It's laugh. Reversing. You can laugh. I respect that. Hopefully, it did get the message across. Laugh, but youngin. Really laugh, young have, one. Uh, then it'll just a little bit more, I don't know, serious? I don't know how to say it, but, you know, I don't doubt other people laugh when they see this, too. Oh, it's Kinder, laughable. Humpty Dumpty, 1983. 1983. Kinder. Kinder egg. Kinder. Holy Kinder. shit. <laughs> Oh my god. I kind of remember this. Do I? They kind of reran this commercial over and over. Shaky. Me on Scrabbly. Scrabbly, Scrabbly. Chocka Doobie. Chocka Doobie. Chocka Doobie. Pop Swabble. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with uh, kids' companies creating creepy mascots. In this video, we see a hyper realistic Humpty Dumpty opening up a Kinder Surprise chocolate while speaking gibberish. Whilst. Should I have used whilst in that sentence? I don't know. Not only did he look like oh, me when I was a kid, God. but he's incredibly ugly and uncomfortable to look at. So yeah, he really looks like me. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm so Little Baby's Ice Cream. Oh, this one. I eat Little Baby's Ice Cream. It keeps me young. Okay, so this is definitely one of the more popular ones on this list, considering it has 18 and million views here on YouTube. The clip shows a person covered in ice cream just uh, eating them. Bro, how do you not, like, wince if there's some cream going into your eyes? Like, how? How? That's got to sting like hell, because you got some ice cream on your eyelids. You don't have to blink. Selves ...with some narration and a creepy song in the background. This was only one of a collection of short videos directed by Doug Williams, which is known for very, uh... Very weird videos. The Little Baby's Ice Cream website is no longer working, but we can check out archives on the Wayback Machine. Going back Wayback to when machine. this commercial was released, 2012, the website is really normal. I use the term commercial loosely because this was uploaded to YouTube. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the website isn't creepy like the videos at all. The brand describes themselves as a handmade, small batch, super premium ice cream company that specializes in unique and surprising flavor combinations with additional emphasis on providing non-dairy and vegan options. Too many words for a fucking simple explanation about ice cream. 
Let's keep, keep it simple. Kind of open-minded and convivial citizen. Little Baby's Ice Cream is literally just a wholesome ice cream company in Philadelphia, or I should say was. Sadly, the company shut down in 2019 for reasons they didn't disclose. But while doing my research, I found myself asking, who is the person in the video? Apparently, it's a person by the name of Asa Shabi Daydem. Oh, okay, so their last name is Daydem. Got it. Professional artist, photographer, video videographer, Oakland, California, United States. Asa Sheeb. It's probably a horrible pronunciation, but I'm sorry. If this is the correct person, then they go by they, them pronouns, and this is what they actually look like. I got these images from my Reddit A. If this is the correct person, then they go by they, them pronouns. That's an amazing green hair. I love it, though. They definitely have great hair. What the hell is they eating? What's a proper, what's the proper term? What are they eating? Yeah. I'm ignorant. Help me out here. What are they eating? Is that sushi? Minus five stars. I can't stand sushi. And this is what they actually look. If I wanted uncooked fish, no, I wouldn't want uncooked fish. I'm going on a rant here. I'll just shut up. Like I got these images from my Reddit AMA they did eight years ago, but they do appear in a whoa another of Doug's videos. There's actually an interesting video where Doug explains some frequently asked questions about the original commercial, like what the person was covered in. No, it wasn't actually ice cream. It was marshmallow cream. He also shows off the editing techniques. PlayStation Mental Wealth. 1999. Let me tell you that both- God damn, what the hell is that? It's me of the human endeavor. I've never been the human in question. Have you? Mankind went to the moon. This advert shows an alien looking Scottish girl talking about mental wealth. She's basically just talking about society, but I'm sure no one paid attention to what she no. was actually saying due to her no. face. She's a really scary looking girl in this Nobody's commercial. Nobody's paying attention to what she's speech, saying at all. We see it's a commercial for PlayStation. Why? I have no idea. Like, she didn't even mention PlayStation in the video. The commercial was directed by the GOAT himself, Chris Cunningham, who is known for collaborating with Apex Twin on music videos. In case you're wondering, yes, they have the same type of weird vibe. I'm pretty sure he directed Robert Johnny, which we have spoken about in another video. I'm sure he made her speak nonsense so the audience just focuses on her looks rather than what she's saying. In an interview with Games Radar, we find out her identity, and it's Fiona McLean. No, she's not actually an interview with Games Radar. We or Minotaur, Mercenaries, The Sky and Blue. I've never seen any of them. Find out her identity, and it's Fiona McLean. No, she's not actually an alien. She explains that she was only 17 at the time and got the audition through her booking agency. She didn't know they were going to distort her face, so when she saw the video, well, that sucks for her. In fact, she was actually paid 10,000 euros, which equivalates to 13,443 US well, dollars. Okay, she was distort also my face all you want. Free PlayStation, yay! Sugar Rice Crinkles, 1960s. Oh god, it's a clown! I'm hungry! Get away from me! This commercial aired in the 1960s. God damn, and that's a scary, man. Awkward commercial. Now, personally, I've never had a fear of clowns, but I do know that it's a very common phobia. Someone commented on my Discord video saying they couldn't sit through the video because I was dressed up as the Joker. Okay. Pussy. Well, am I gonna get canceled for phobia shaming? Anyway, the commercial is really <laughs> awkward because there's no background uh, music, like I said. And, well, yeah, it's a pretty creepy clown design. Clowns are creepy no matter what. That's what makes Joker so great. Because he's a creepy ass dude. And it, the clown, anyway. The clown was like Crinkle and was the mascot for the cereal. Before Crinkle, though, the mascot was an Asian boy named So High. Get it? Because they're so rice, high. Crinkles? Rice? Asian? Yeah, pretty racist. They gave the Asian boy a stereotypical design, you know, lines for eyes and a racist voice that I bet. It was the 1960s. No one gave a shit back then, but now people do. But this is in the past. What are you going to do? You can't really blame them. And if you do, stop it, because it's the 1960s. I bet the voice actor wasn't even Asian for And you know how cereals nope. used to have toys back in the day? I don't know if they still do. But uh, their toy was so high pulling a wagon. So high pulls it himself. <laughs> Cal B. That is so bad. Hold a rickshaw. Oh my god. Cal B. Consume Panchi Commercials 2007 to 2013. Consume Panchi Commercials 2007 to 2013. Oh, this one. Consume. Consume Panchi, Ponchi, Consume Panchi, Umasaki, Consume Panchi, Consume, Consume, 
These commercials were made to remote chips by the Japanese company. Is that what they were doing? They, I don't even know what the hell they were doing. Idea to use a, a human in a dog costume, and it just looks so unsettling. Not only that, but many weird things happen in these commercials, such as what seems to be a dark moment, the dog getting into a fight with another fake dog, and even getting abducted by aliens. The name of the dog is Kalbi Consome Panchi. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, you try. There actually is no consequence. Never mind. <laughs> I have nothing more to say about this. You I tried, this man. A little bit more on the. You tried saying their name. You tried. That's Inside, all you can do. But you tried. I remember when I originally did find out about it? it did creep me out and uh, definitely gave me some permanent memories. Sunday lunch 2006 okay so I don't know how much of this commercial I can even show on screen even though it is scripted violence which is okay on YouTube but I really don't want to deal with a YouTube employee reviewing my video because in case you guys don't know especially if you upload morbid content sometimes youtube detects your video to have something bad in it which leads you to need a human review to make sure you can put ads on your videos which is so annoying but yeah i just don't want to do that so i'll do my best to describe it with screenshots from the video we start off with a family based in the uk gathering around. you know what i'm gonna look this up sunday light sunday lunch let's do this Let's do this. Sunday lunch, 2006, UK. Alright. Okay. Hi, Hi, you're right. 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 Hi, you're Money, Anton, flop the show. They're speaking English, right? It's just I mean, it's it's seriously not me having a stroke, right? Am I having a stroke? No matter what the occasion, what the occasion is, Christmas, day Christmas. My man always finds a way to flop the show. Though, yeah. It was a good thing you man never come because it was a big hype thing going about last night. What? Oh, this got dark real quick. She got a gun. See, that's why I like having younger brothers and sisters. I stay indoors, but the beef stays outside. Dude. Holy crap! What are they selling here? Okay, I was like pulling the trigger, so. All crime stars only. On. Okay. So, alright, UK, you don't play around. You do not play around to know for lunch. Everything is normal and the young adults are talking about their days until the camera shows the mother grabbing a pistol, pointing it at her son and pulling the trigger. Yeah, she shoots her like seven year old son in the head. The family freaks out and she begins crying as this text appears on the screen. Keep in mind, you can hear them all crying as this text appears. Well, it's yeah. It's quiet about gun crime. It's like pulling the trigger yourself. The commercial was a PSA for UK gun violence. And we're gonna see a common pattern when we talk about PSAs because they really like using shock value to get the message across. Don't drink and drive. Jacqueline Saborido. I was gonna say, is this Canadian? But no, it's probably from Japan somewhere. 2008. My name Never is mind. Jacqueline Saborido. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver. This PSA begins with a woman holding a sign with her face on it, explaining she was in a horrible car accident in which two of her friends died and she ended up needing more than 40 surgeries. She pulls down the picture, revealing her new face. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being yeah. hit by a drunk driver. Damn! Don't drink and drive. Ever. It's honestly horrible knowing that people are killed or that's this is for real right this is not like scripted like this is a real person or is this just makeup ever it's honestly horrible knowing that people are killed or left disabled due to drunk drivers or maybe even maybe even just doing more damage to themselves but the woman in the video is Jacqueline Saburo. Oh, and she's was real. In a fatal car Wait. crash in 1999, which burned 60 percent of oh, her body. Okay, she was right. only 21 when her life changed for the worse. The man who hit her and her friends is Reggie Steffi, and he got seven years in prison for killing two people while intoxicated and disabling Jacqueline. Yeah, seven years for uh, killing two people while drunk driving. Seven years for drunk driving. That's insane. That's totally insane. Mm -hmm. When he was released, he and Jacqueline worked together to spread awareness of drunk driving. Sadly, Jacqueline...
who became the face when an anti-drunk driving campaign has died. Oh, fuck. Passed away at age 40 in 2019 due to cancer. Adult Swim's The Dawn Is Your Enemy, 2005 to 2010. It's looking like a Monty Python sketch. In case you guys don't know, Cartoon Network turns into Adult Swim at 9 p.m. Adult yeah. Swim is a channel with a lot of adult humor shows. This ad isn't promoting anything like the others on this list. It was just made to scare children. So let's say you're 10 years old and you wake up in the middle of the night for whatever reason and you turn on your TV and you see this. Definitely scarred a bunch of little kids when this uh, commercial was airing. They also made a sequel. Uh, they released the second version named The Dawn Is Your Frenemy in 2020. I'm going to one more positive to see if it makes us feel better. Same thing. What are we? What, what am I looking at? K fee commercials. Two thousand. I, I I don't get it. Like, what am I? What is so creepy about it? That it's just creepy music in the background and just a face looking at you. A half face. I don't understand. K fee commercials. Two thousand four. Oh shit! I know where this is going. Definitely fucked me up a lot of, in 2004 in the beginning of uh, Break.com. Anybody remember that? Break.com? You might recognize this clip as one of the internet's earliest jump scares, but don't worry, yeah. I'm not gonna actually play the jump scares. So yes, you are. I still have to play the clip because I wanna show you guys, so we're just gonna replace the jump scare sound with my beautiful voice. Woohoo! Rawr. <laughs> Roar. So these commercials were meant to jump scare you, increase your heart rate, and then tell you, you see that feeling? That's what that's what our beverage can do to your heart and make you energized, I guess. They had a series of these commercials. I'll play some of them now with again my amazing voice. But just a long voice. <laughs> I'm bald. <laughs> Subscribe to Tov. Oh, these that's commercials aired in Germany. I'm hoping they didn't air on any kids' channels, but if I have any Germans watching me, let me know if this is like a very popular series of commercials from back in the day. Also, let me know if Kefi is still around. The only thing I could find about the Kefi coffee energy drink hybrid was a description on bevnet.com, which was last updated, uh... It was last updated in 2004. Four. Damn, yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, watching your parents hadn't even made you yet. <laughs> I also yep. found this website that also goes by kfee.us. It focuses on coffee, but no energy drinks. Could this be the US division or maybe just a coincidence? Honestly, from the research I did, I am 99.9% .9 sure this is a fat coincidence. Burger King snake commercial, 2006. A man unwraps a- So, we're not showing the Burger King himself? That creepy ass guy in your bed? Burger, exclaiming, mmm, meat in his head. Meat. He realizes that he forgot a soda, so he gets up. Then we see another guy in a blue shirt looking at the burger, wiggling his tongue like a snake. He even gets down on the floor and wiggles to the burger like a snake, with a song playing in the background that corresponds to the action. He stretches up to the table and opens his mouth as wide as possible. Oh he fits my the god. the burger in his mouth and swallows it all at once. The other guy exclaims something in horror, and then the blue shirt male gets up and says, The Burger King Triple Whopper. Eat like a snake. I really wonder how awkward this one was to film. Again, for some of these, I just can't provide context. I just have to show you guys how creepy they are. I don't know why these uh, companies don't think about... I think these companies are really, really used to focus on shock value. They didn't even care. If it was like bad yeah. shock value, they just wanted shock just value did, they just want the brand's name. Well, if you do shock value, yeah, you remember people's name. Do you remember the brand names? Like, remember that commercial that did this? Yeah, what did it sell? I have no idea, but I'm going to it. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Yoshi's Island SNES commercial, 1995. 1995. What do you think of when I say SNES commercial? If you said fat guy eating until he pops, then you would be right. Classic. Too much, too much. Classic Fine commercial. Now, crammed everything into Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. 60 more levels, massive enemies, huge Yoshi tricks, all served up with the latest graphic technology, Morph Nation. Mm -hmm. Sure you don't have room for another little bonus level? Maybe. <laughs> Diarrhea! Instant diarrhea. Super Mario World 2, only on the Super NES. Still the big one. I don't know either. Again, we're talking about shock value here. Honestly, there's not much more- Plus it was the 90s. 95? The 90s? Everything was extreme! It's so yeah, you had to be there. You had to be there. And I remember playing it on my Game Boy Advance SP. It has an amazing soundtrack as well. Very, very good times. Very good times. Smoking Fetus, 1984. Never thought- Excuse me? Smoking fetus? 
thought I'd say that. This PSA is an attempt to get pregnant women to stop smoking by showing a creepy 3D model of a fetus smoking a cigarette. Mmm, that's some good Marlboros. Would you give a cigarette to your unborn child? You do. Every time you smoke while you're pregnant. Pregnant mothers, please, don't smoke. Call 453-4500 for further information. Fetus is in general very right. unsettling uh, to look at for me personally. And hey, since we're talking about smoking cigarettes, if any of you smoke, please make sure to stop. A study showed that smoking cigarettes lowers your life expectancy by 10 years. And that doesn't include lung cancer. If you smoke, this is your sign right now. Quit it. And I'm not talking about weed. I'm talking about like cigarettes. You know, the only thing we approve over here is uh, vanilla cigarettes. When I smoked that ADP pack, my favorite video I've ever made. I think there be. I think there need to be more, more about this. I don't think we talk about pregnant women doing, doing drugs, smoking, or drinking alcohol. I don't think we talk about that enough. And if you think that's bad, you should watch. You should see the uh, '90s uh, crack baby commercials, like showing mothers and doing crack, and it's a whole bunch of God damn the crack baby ep epidemic. And I really respect it. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. 2000. This is yet another gun PSA, but in this one, a little girl describes killing her older brother due to a gun being easily accessible in the house. This is my brother Omar. Oh, there was a hole in his tummy. There was a hole in his tummy. Oh, I remember this. A bullet hit him. I saw red grass. The gun was in the garage. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. Roof Seal Corporate Branding TV Commercial 2014 bonus this is a bonus because it's not really that creepy it's more it's more on the funny side oh and your roof is getting lost but that's oh god that's some creepy CGI is that what we're talking about the, the fucked up CGI here when the market and the moss, when your mortar isn't where it ought to be. And give it back that old appeal with a visit from Roof Seal. 1-300-36-7070. Let me know in the comments if you genuinely find this one creepy. But anyway, That's it's just look a seal it. that works on roofs. You'll be happy to know that he's still the mascot. What's not to love about an Australian seal fixing roofs trying to make a living, you know? Like, you, you can't hate on this dude, bro. You, you're trying to make a bag. And clearly it's still working in 2021. So yeah, that concludes our list of creepy commercials that actually aired on live TV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want to hit the like button, if you guys want to subscribe, make sure to do that. Let's try to hit 40,000 likes. We did 40,000 for the last one, and I like. think 40,000 is a really good I like his content. So let's go for the lucky 40,000 likes for this Definitely video. Definitely go out and watch his stuff later. to be subscribed for the content. I want you to be subscribed because of who I am. Like, that's a, that's a thing with a lot of... Here's, here's the thing. Here's what I want to let you guys know before I go. When I made the whole, like, darkest YouTube iceberg, and then I made three TikTok icebergs, People would refer to my channel as a iceberg channel, and I, I absolutely hated it because I am not an iceberg channel. I make anything I want, but it's morbid, and I don't even have to stick to morbid topics. I could upload whatever I want. Yeah, very true. You can one, like whatever you, saying, you can do whatever you I want on your channel. YouTube channels that only upload icebergs, and then they upload a regular video, which is not about icebergs, and they get no engagement because they kill their channels. I tried my best to not do that, and it's safe to say that we have an amazing subscriber base that I really, really love you guys. and. Thank you guys so much for not letting me uh, stay in this box of Iceberg Channel because I've seen channels completely die. And my fear was being one of those channels. And I'm so happy that you guys really like me. Y'all gonna make me cry. All I'm saying is I hope you guys like me for who I am. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm talking too much. But I'll see you guys next time I upload. Yeah, we may talk too much. It's something that happens. But yeah, eventually you'll get over it. Not me though, but I because I talk too much even when I don't want to talk too much. Anyway, this guy's videos are really good. I'm definitely gonna watch more of his stuff later. Definitely check him out. And yeah, his fan base seems like a bald actually <laughs> crucified me. Yeah, that's a really good line. But anyway, really good channel. I enjoyed it. Definitely gotta check his stuff out. Anyway, that's it for now. Humanoid Nation, humanoid out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando.